Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GBR. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. Uh, but after today's price movement, definitely more updates here need to be made. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of house cleaning here and just get rid of these lines. Sure, they still pertain, but they're not really relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna you know, risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. First update though that needs to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So $6 was a level I talked about uh, yesterday as support, and it did actually act as support for quite a while during the you know earlier part of the day. However, then as time passed by, you can see that the uh, bears were able to finally press below it right there. And that was you know, kind of essentially what opened up the next floodgates to the downside. So in any sort of bounce, um, remember the markets are closed uh, tomorrow, Wednesday for the Independence Day. So either Thursday or Friday, any sort of bounce, you know, the key levels to keep an eye on are gonna be you know, definitely that $6 mark. And also watch that uh, purple line right there, the 50 period moving average at all. Uh, you, know, you would expect that to act as a lo little level of resistance too. So right around 5.30ish and then $6, two key levels of resistance. What about levels of support? Next key overall area, where it would not be shocking at all to see the price drift down to at least, is gonna be right around $3.25. And that is coming from, you know, looking back here, you can see this was the bottom portion of this former consolidation area right there. So 325, next key level to keep an eye on going forward. Uh, volume has dropped off quite a bit, but you know, this one's, uh, you know, been a pretty big mover. Um, so who knows, maybe this thing's getting ready to turn around. You never know, as uh, this one is taught, it can be uh, move very uh, you know, crazy in either direction. But as things stand right now, it's looking like the bears are regaining control. So a, a test of 325, either Thursday or Friday, um, you know, I don't think uh, is illogical at all, but we'll see what happens with it. With it. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.